Why every account of a blade adventure in? I have no idea who this guy is. Laro Gotcha. How, how does bro look more bald than me? With a full head of hair, how does bro look more bald than me? I'm going to go like, comment, and subscribe on his channel just to tell him that. All right, cool. Let's watch this shit. Hi, YouTube. What's hey. streaming on Twitch.tv for Seth Oh, I'm going to go follow his stream, too. What a, what a great guy. And I was thinking about a take I could give that I okay. think wouldn't be too crazy, but I think that I haven't seen talked about too, too much. Now, maybe okay. there's a video out there, but I, I haven't seen it. I was going to okay. make a video on why everyone should have Blade in Adventuring. Not okay. too, too long of a video, but I've got like one or two reasons. I'm not rolling for Adventuring because he's stupid. I already have a Luocha. I already have a Fuchuan. I don't want him. And I'm not rolling for Blade because if I roll for Blade, then Kafka's going to him over me so no i'm not rolling for either one as to why and i'm just going to talk about him real quick main reason being they yeah. the biggest reason obviously they okay. both make use of dog shit artifacts this is the exact type of guide that i would make back in genshin impact days this is exactly what i would do i would tell people the best characters to pull for making use of artifacts that you don't use on anybody else. They were incredibly good fucking videos. Like the same thing with Bennett. Like Bennett, you can use shit artifacts on him. He's one of the most broken characters in the game and they still function. Allow me to explain. So this piece, good. Yeah. On, on this set though, not yeah. too crazy. Same for this piece on, on the HP set. It, it, normally these pieces wouldn't be insane. Now this piece would normally be pretty hot ass. Now Blade may- What do you mean by hot ass? Does that mean good or does that mean bad? Do you mean dog shit or like hot? I mean, hot ass can go either way. To be honest, like it's okay. I need someone to translate. Does that mean good or does that mean bad? Hot ass means bad? What the fuck? Since when? Since when does a huge hot ass mean bad? Also, Jesus Christ, look at that HP. Makes use of this. Even if it's an off piece, Blade would make use of this because HP percent is all he needs. Crit damage? Hey, shit, I might go all HP Blade, to be honest, because fuck it. Why the hell not? I mean, I, I'll be real. That piece is kind of dog shit, straight up. Like, the piece is dog shit. I get what he's saying, though, because not everybody can have optimized relics. Like, this shit is trash, right? Crit damage with no crit rate? Like, bro's going to have, like, fucking 20% crit rate, 8 million percent crit damage. It's crit damage? But I can agree, it could work. Hey, shit, I might go all HP Blade, to be honest, because fuck it. Why the hell not? Well, the reason why you don't go all HP Blade is because then this little dumb fucking bear comes out of nowhere, calls back reading, and tells you why you should kill yourself for advocating for crit damage, or sorry, for advocating for HP percent on your body for Blade. Then you and a big, scary, jacked black man are going to have drama for four fucking weeks before he bitches you, right? It's a really fucking horrifying experience to be in. I might go HP just to make a point. These boots? Yeah. Okay, these boots are kind of fucking good. <laughs> these boots are kind of fucking Yeah, only, only Blade can get make use of a 25 speed, 20.7% crit damage, crit value fucking boots. Those are actually nuts for him. Not for me, you know? Not for me. Yeah, for a new player, pretty good. But I'll be real. If it, if, I mean, I'll just keep it real, guys. If it, if it doesn't have 40 crit value, it's garbage. Okay? If your characters have anything underneath 190 speed on every single one of them and below 300 crit value universally on their account, like you should just delete your whole fucking, you should delete your characters, man. Okay, quit the damn game. Oh, HP, just to make a point. These boots, okay, these boots are kind of fucking good. <laughs> these boots are kind of fucking good. I'm not going to lie. These boots you could probably put on anybody. HP. Nah, you can. <sighs> nah, they're trash. Uh, they'd be good on Bronya, though. But that's, that's also really going to blame. P Orb, this normally would break hearts. Normally, a piece like this would break hearts. For me, for people with Blade, this is a godsend. Yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. That's a really fucking good point. That's a great point. I never thought of that, actually. I mean, your Blade's gonna be slow as fuck. But to be honest, your main carry's speed these days doesn't really matter if you're just running with Bronya and Sparkle. I will say, there's another reason why this set is really good. To ha the reason why having a Blade is very good is because if you have a blade and you want to use that HP set, which is used on almost nobody, that also allows you to farm at the hacker space set more efficiently, because then the HP percent set and the hacker space set will be able to be farmed from the same place. I'm hoping he mentions that. That's another really good fucking reason to use Blade. I think Blade is one of the most underrated characters in the entire game. I think Blade is fucking fantastic. 
He unlocked some really fucking cool comps with Jing Liu too. Like, I think he's so fucking good. This boots you could probably put on anybody. HP orb. This yeah. normally would break hearts. Normally, a piece like this would break hearts. For me, for people with blade, this is a godsend. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Damage HP pieces are now made use of. Same for this one. HP true. percent Kuraker damage makes use of all yeah, the true. dog ass. Uh, stop saying dog ass. It's dog shit, bro. It's dog shit. God, what the fuck is dog ass, bro? It's dog shit. Regardless, because you be real, you be saying that shit is dog ass, and the furries are gonna get excited. Okay, no, that piece is fucking ridiculous. That's a fucking like thirty three point six percent crit value fucking piece. It is heartbreaking to hit that HP percent with the good subs, and then you're like, ah, fuck. If only it was attack. If only it was energy regen. But no, nah, that's that's mad good. That's a great point. HP pieces. You will never yeah. get an HP percent piece and think, wow, this has no. Well, unless you get like a really dog ass piece. It's Every dog shit. It's dog shit. Which point? That's a skill issue. Now, Aventurine. Now, he does look a little different. My Aventurine. Why are you calling him out for being gay? Is pre beta. So, my Aventurine will not look the same as yours. This one's a little different. I do have the beta version. The oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I ain't even got Aventurine, bro. What a poor, poor, poor motherfucker, bro. Damn. Hey, hey, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Here's, here's the thing that's fucking wild, bro. That's what my adventure read looks like, too. And that shit's post beta. Look at this shit, man. Hey, look at look, look. Hey, hey, you know what's even better? My, my adventure read look a little different. Homeboy oh look mad different. I don't know what happened, man. These are leaks. Um, Adventuring also makes use of crit rate, crit damage, defense percent pieces. And most people would think, oh, I'll just go all defense on him. And that's more, that's all to you. That's uh, more power to you. Make him a tank. Me personally, from what we saw in the playtest, I think you can go main DPS adventuring. And so. Uh, I don't know about that little pup. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that little pup. I've done it. Main DPS is so fun. Okay, so this is coming from the same guy. In case you guys don't know, uh, Loro, aka the inventor of Lorocha, main DPS Lor uh, Luocha. I mean, it works on his account. He never dies, and his Luocha does do considerably more damage. I mean, shit, I guess. I okay, okay. It probably really ain't that good. It really probably ain't that good. But the thing is, is that you could go it. You could go it, I guess. So this piece would normally yeah. make people shed tears. Shit and come. This will make people shit bricks. For me, I was jumping for joy because this piece is insane. Say, same as this piece. This piece, well, the orb is, this could go on pretty much anybody. But on this set, it's really fucking good. And yep. Speed okay. And defense percent really fucking good. And what I'm trying to say here is, I do believe sort of like your account should have at least two five star supports, one preservation, one abundance, just to like you know make sure you at I least agree. cover like at least cover everything, right? I agree. Just to make sure that like you know you can't get burst to a preservation and you can sure. go with long fights for abundance, at least that stuff like that. And I think Adventuring's Mickey Mouse main DPS build. Okay, he's not gonna be a main DPS. He'll be like a sub DPS. He'll do more damage than a normal Adventuring. Currently, with the way Adventuring works nobody's breaking through his damn shield okay so technically if you can get some damage on him it is technically good and i think everyone should have one blade well not even blade specifically if they ever make another character <clears throat> maybe sam i don't know i haven't seen leaks but sam seems like he'd be an hp fire destruction type guy i, I don't know sam why is he saying like that Is Sam HP guys? Is he is he big HP guys or what? I have no idea. Maybe. Why would he? I don't fucking know. This guy said it. We don't know yet. Okay, I have not seen any Sam leaks at all. But I agree. Having characters that make different builds and different relics viable that nobody else uses is always fucking huge. Or people like who scale off of HP percent with damage. Um, and I think that will make it to where your relic farming experience at least gets a little better because you'll always be able to make use of decent artifacts. Yeah, and I agree. Your defense percent and your HP percent pieces with crit, crit damage, you no longer have to get depressed for because then you can think my blade's better. My Sam's better. My adventure is better. Now, if they, 
I, I will say, I just watched my Gepi. This is a side note. I'll do an MLC, and I just watched Gepi do more damage than Yang Ching with his skill. More damage than Yang Ching's ult with his skill, which was insane. There's no fucking way you saw that. There is no way you saw that. That cannot be real. And I'm honestly surprised that I haven't seen more people- Put that damn armpit down, boy. We'll talk about this. It's not like it's a big deal, but I feel like Blade and Aventurine are super duper free-to-play friendly. I feel like they're the units to go for if, if you're going for like- pure efficiency pure efficiency no meta no nothing i would yeah. say go for blade one blade one adventuring and the benefits of blade because i don't know adventuring's kit really to be honest uh well i do but not the specifics why what makes blade a great character to go for too is he doesn't even necessarily need damage you can just go all hp on him and he's insane at break damage because he does a lot of break damage on his enhanced basic he gets his follow-up attack all the fucking time and his ult also does a decent chunk of uh, weakness break. So he has Is that true? Or no? I've never heard of break effect blade in my whole life. Break blade is a real thing. I didn't even know about that shit, bro. I mean, he has a million ways to break. Yeah, I guess slash fail to send you all AOE. I mean, shit, I guess. Okay, that's cool. He has a lot of ways to weakness break. So he's great as a sub DPS. And he, he has the destruction buff of drawing slight aggro. Not that you should count on that. The problem is that bro also advocated for effect hit rate, <laughs> effect hit rate doctor ratio. That way he doesn't miss his abilities. <laughs> Uh, that shit was awesome, bro. Well, you really don't want him to miss his chalk, so you need to make sure you run him on max effect hit rate. But he's easy as fuck to build. Uh, makes use of dog shit artifacts. A lot of break damage. Essentially for a Wait, did he actually say it? He is fuck to build. Uh, makes use of dog shit artifacts. He finally said dog shit. Holy fuck. He finally said dog shit, not dog ass. A lot of break damage. Essentially for adventuring, he's preservation, so he's a support. What you go for adventuring, right? You can go all defense percent or defense rate crew, main DPS or support. If you go support on him, more power to you. Speed, defense percent, easy. I feel like main DPS adventuring is just strictly cap, but I'm sure what he means is you can make your adventuring do more damage since the amount that you can shield is already enough. You might as well push for more. Clap. He will be able to protect your team while making use of Doxia artifacts. Adventure is honestly even more useful, more, makes more use of artifacts. Wait, no, they're both, no, never mind. They're both pretty equal. But just being able to make use of like each kind of artifact, I feel like is super important, especially when you're working. Yeah, sure. I mean, I get, I get what he means. You know, like if you do get a defense percent crit rate, crit damage, that way it's not immediately not, it's that way it's immediately not discredited. Same thing with the HP crit rate, crit damage uh, rope. So that way, if you do pull those and the main set doesn't go your way, then you still want a break effect rope for someone like Boot Hill. You want uh, your defense ropes for like fucking adventure. You want your HP ropes for fucking blade. Attack percent for pretty much anybody else. I mean, yeah, energy rope for supports. I mean, it's really good. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Worried about getting absolute ass artifact. If, if you're worried about relic farming, I do feel like Blade Adventure will make it way easier for you. Just for the, just for like my first point of just, they just make use of absolute awful artifacts. It's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let me know if there's any other characters you think are absolute dog ass but that makes it's dog shit fuck that makes me angry hey we're going to say hey good video man good video this felt like baby's first video and uh you know what uh bro has made like five videos in his entire channel history guys i think it would be funny as fuck to get this dude to above a thousand subscribers i uh, i think that would be funny as fuck and then spam his shit with dog ass because what the fuck what the fuck does that even mean man genuinely uh regardless hey catch you on the next one good video on the route peace